What's happening, road dogs and highway hounds? Yabba dabba do, what's up with you? Uh, I was watching the World Crypto Network last night, or listening to a little bit of it, and uh, I kind of played around in the chat for a minute. I said something about Litecoin. By the way, I haven't been... Everybody's excited about Litecoin now, it seems like. Uh, which is not the way it was six months, 12 years ago. You know, or 12 years ago. 12 months ago. But, uh... I don't know, there's a different vibe in the air. I can tell that about Litecoin. Um, but well, for all the good comments, positive comments, you know, you only pay attention to the negative one, you know what I mean? Then I only got one negative one, you know, cause I was kind of chatting in there. Um, by the way, mad bitcoins and, uh, and the world crypto network are some of the longest standing, uh, what do you call it? YouTube channels out there. I mean, these guys have been around for a long time they're not I mean because I'm looking at all these channels out there and they're springing up everywhere and everybody's claiming to be an expert on this stuff but what I'm telling you is World Crypto Network and uh, Mad Bitcoin's channel is Uncle Mick approved uh, I'll put links down to their channels down there they've been down for a long time Andreas Antonopoulos is another good one. If you guys know that. Um, he's on the approved list. But, uh, they're just, they're knowledgeable and they're long-standing and they're ethical, which is most important to me. You know, it's not, it's not all about making money. You know, there's, and most of them are Bitcoin maximalist types. Not, not exclusively, but the thing is, with all these altcoins, you're you're uh, playing with fire because there's a lot of sharks out there and and thieves and deceivers. And I know a lot of you. I I've heard from a lot of you that you've uh, lost, you know. But and that's what happens and that's why that's why i say you know bitcoin and litecoin in my opinion are safe you know they're they're the two that you can trust you know i mean ethereum look at ethereum i mean how many people don't understand that there was an 80 percent pre-mine in there it was started by hedge for uh, goldman sachs hedge fund managers uh you know i mean types i mean there's goldman sachs people involved uh they're messing around with R3 it is it is like to me it's the antithesis of what Satoshi Nakamoto was trying to do and it's on Coinbase it's really established but if something that big and that well recognized has got so much dirty laundry uh, you know <laughs> altcoin doodah that you like you know how do you know that's any good? Because nobody knows about it but you, and you're excited about it. And what's the chances of you getting ripped off with that or whatever? Stick with the gold and silver, and if we need a nickel coin, boy, I ain't even on the line here. I'm talking too much. Shut up, stupid, and drive, right? Uh, no, but anyway, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? What's the title of this video? You guys know? I was going to talk about something really cool. Oh, yeah. Inflation. Duh. Yeah, well, that was the one bad comment that I got from World Crypto Network. Um, World Crypto Network. It was somebody in the chat, you know, and they said, they said, no, only Bitcoin. Litecoin is, you know, inflates the, uh, the currency. And I get <laughs> and he was like, and I was like, inflation, inflation's not necessarily a bad thing. And he said, inflation's why you're here, bud. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I kind of like, though. 
but uh, so I was like, here's the thing. Inflation can be good. Inflation can be bad. Deflation can be good and deflation can be bad. Now, if you're uh, talking talking about a, a, an undesirable in Bitcoin, who is an early adopter, what Litecoin does is it helps level the playing field. It helps you, it helps keep up with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin Litecoin ratio is one in four. You know, the supply 21 million to 84 million. You know, and I know there's other coins out there with 84 million and, 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 and all this stuff, but the thing is, Litecoin is the one that came up with it. Litecoin is number two to Bitcoin. It always has been. You know, well, but what about market cap? Think about market cap. You know, they forked Bitcoin and the market cap came up and it's, you know, way up there. Market cap, don't get too hooked on market cap. Everybody at market cap, market cap, market cap. Market cap is just market cap. It doesn't mean... You, you don't put too much weight on market cap. Litecoin is number two to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is gold. Litecoin is silver. Litecoin was released fairly, even more fairly than uh, Bitcoin. And and I get people that say, well, why don't we just ditch Bitcoin and 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 just use Litecoin? And well, what I say is, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I don't ditch it because Bitcoin is the first thing. It's the first mover. Litecoin is the second mover. And what they do, they do well. What they do is store value and and increase that value over time. That's what they that's what they're designed to do. They're not designed to, you know, fund uh, computers they're designed to store value and transfer value and, and they may be blocky and hard to work with and all that kind of stuff but now we've got SegWit and this whole SegWit times two I know Charlie Lee said that he is not for that the, in, in November but and what do you do with all these forks you know Adam Meister is talking about dividends. They're dividends. Maybe. I mean, talk about Bitcoin Cash. I was talking to somebody yesterday at uh, at the shirt place where I get my shirts printed, and uh, and uh, he said that he changed out his Bitcoin Cash for Litecoin. And I, was, I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. And then I got to thinking about it, and I'm looking at the price this morning, and I'm like, I'm not, I, I have, or no, he didn't do it. I think his dad did. Whatever. But, uh, and I was thinking that was probably a smart idea. Maybe I should do that. And, uh, but then I got to thinking. It's kind of like my Ethereum. I did sell some of my Ethereum. Because I can't stand it. But anyway... For the Bitcoin Cash, you got Roger Ver pounding the drum for that because, like, talk about a 51% attack. I think like 90% of the of the of the mining of Bitcoin Cash. I mean, I just I'm guessing, and so this ain't fact, but it's not probably Jihan Wu because he didn't want that Segwit thing to come in because all of his miners wouldn't work. But I bet you they work on Bitcoin Cash. So he's 90, so basically Jihan Wu is totally 100% control of Big Cash or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. I don't care. I mean, it's just jacked up. But do I want to get out of that, get into Litecoin? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Actually, I do. But at the same time, it's kind of like diversification. And that way, I don't have to mess with it. But when it's sitting there at 600 bucks, it's hard not to pull that out. <laughs> but one thing I know about Roger Fair is he knows how to get his point across to people, and he's a heck of a salesman and all this kind of stuff. I mean, and I'm not, I'm not uh, promoting Bitcoin Cash or whatever because I mean, with 
when the miners got 90% control over over that thing. That's a crap coin, sorry, folks. And it's always going to be that way because that's it's just from my perspective it's about greed and and uh, it's just junk. But, you know, if if Bitcoin Judas can convince people to use it and stuff like that, just as passionately as he did about Bitcoin, you know, he can mislead a lot of people into buying it and that price could go high. You know, because people don't understand what the miners do and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, man, I'm rambling. I get so scatterbrained. But, uh, Inflation. Inflation is a good thing. Inflating the, the currency. Making more available. Because when did you get involved? At 1000 2000 You know? I was one of the fortunate ones that could buy at 280 You know? And, uh... And, uh... But now what do you do? You gotta come up with dang near five grand to uh, get a Bitcoin. Well, you can buy four Litecoins and it'll help you keep up with the inf with the deflationary nature of Bitcoin. That's the beauty of Litecoin. Who wouldn't that appeal to? Why would, you know, why wouldn't you? That's why I do. And that's why I pound the drum on it. It's the second mover. Bitcoin's the first mover. Litecoin's the second mover. You know, it was created because of all the scams. It was released fairly, and it does nothing. It's awesome. It's just like Bitcoin, only different. <laughs> but, uh, no. Just use your head, folks. And, you know, steady as she goes. And, uh, inflation's a good thing. If it's going to help the little guy keep up with Bitcoin Judas because I mean do you really want to have Jihan Wu and Bitcoin Judas in charge and, and, and leading your monetary supply I don't Litecoin gives latecomers a, uh, a chance to keep up with the early adopters of Bitcoin and I mean, at 50 bucks, I mean, think about that, man. When, when was Bitcoin at 50 bucks? That was like, or I mean, we're at 70 now, or 80, sorry. But the price is irrelevant, just dollar cost average. Understand what gold and silver has been historically in money. Invest accordingly, this new money should. I mean, to me, it's logical to say that, that the new money the new currency that's that's coming about should track along with the historical way of money because everybody in the world understands it from every different culture and you got to spread the word and you got to talk about it you got to get your youtube channel up there and, and talk about it or whatever your social media thing is and you've you know i mean it doesn't have a marketing department it's just what it is you know and Charlie Lee is not out there trying to sell it. He's an engineer. He ain't a salesman. He ain't a CEO. You know, that's what a CEO does. Litecoin don't have a CEO. You know, we look to Charlie Lee for, you know, guidance or whatever. Because, But he's no different than Andreas Antonopoulos or, or anybody else who's excited and, and, and likes this stuff. But, uh, no, nah, Apple's going to shut me down, so I got to go. Adios.